Hi guys, it is an ab absolutely, we are talking about a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of everything, the day after the big blow, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, good lord. What a difference a day makes. It is a spectacularly gorgeous Saturday evening, August 10th, 2024. So, uh, I have two groups of vacation rental folks coming in any minute. So, I need to make this a fairly quick uh, chronicle of the collapse. And I don't want to spend much time on it anyway because I am just wasting my breath on this, you know, this ridiculous dog and pony show, this big distraction. But, but I, I, I've just got to say this. <clears throat> I, collapse Chronicles, I am chronicling the collapse of a planet. Okay, that's what I do here. I, I, I don't you know, try to make exceptions for people and, and look the other way, you know, as much as I can uh, with, with these lion sack of shit uh, politicians. Politicians cannot get where they are uh, in the United States today without being lying sacks of shit and in the pockets of... Uh, you know, these planet-eating corporations, particularly these big energy corporations. So, uh, so we all know, at least with the, uh, the Trump Vance ticket, we know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a couple of planet eaters. Uh, I don't know if Donald Trump is in the pocket of big oil and big energy is he in their pocket or is he just cheerleading them on anyway uh he's not so much you know a a corporate whore as he is a corporate stooge uh he's doing their bidding for him uh for them so anyway as much as I absolutely despise Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, and, uh, and and God forbid uh, that either one of those sacks of shit gets back in the White House, uh, I, I just want to point out that uh, the inconvenient truth, because I understand, I hear right here in the Doomosphere, that, that, that apparently... I think there's some doomers still uh, clinging to some ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, ain't gonna happen uh, fantasy that electing Kamala Harris and who is this uh, dude from Minnesota I had never heard of. Well, I had heard of him. I just forgot where I had heard of him. This guy, Tim Walls who they're setting out there, I don't know, to, to look like some high school football coach uh, or, or, or something. Uh, Say, so where have I heard that name, Tim Walls, and, uh, you know, listening to these so-called progressives uh, talk about this guy. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking, I, I'm assuming, uh, I mean, just making the assumption uh, that he's a planet-eating corporate whore uh, in, in the pocket of uh, big energy, you know, just like Kamala Harris, just like, uh, you know, I was mentioning in, the, in my Ain't Gonna Happen Roundup rant last week, where Kamala Harris, just as Donald Trump pointed out, uh, a, a few years ago was screaming about how she was, uh, you know, 100% against fracking. That uh, no fracking, Kamala, no fracking, uh, period, Harris. 
and, and, and she is 180 degree flipped on that position. Kamala Harris is every bit uh, as much of a fan of fracking as Donald Trump is. There's no difference, okay? Frying pan or the fire, guys. Uh, Kamala Harris, Donald Trump are, are going to do everything they can to support frackers. And uh, I, I'm assuming if uh, Kamala uh, Fracker uh, Harris, uh, you know, just following in the, in the mold of Farrakh Obama, uh, who acted like he invented fracking, for God's sake, um... Uh, I, I, I'm assuming Tim Walls uh, is a big fan of fracking also. So, good for counterpunch. You know, those little lefties over at counterpunch. Uh, not exactly limp dick lefties. I, it, it, if I had to pick a lefty uh, media organization that still has a little bit of blood pumping through their dick, it, it would be counterpunch. And, uh, and good for counterpunch uh, running this article, which in, in no way, shape, or form is an endorsement of Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. Okay. This is no endorsement of Donald Trump uh, and, and J.D. Vance, it, it's just to pull your head out of your clueless moron ass. You clueless limp dick lefty. Thinking there's any difference uh, between Harris Walls and, 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 and Trump Vance. And so this is these... And so I'm, I'm want to thank Mandy Medley and Eric Wallenberg and Counterpunch for reminding me where I had heard of uh, this dude, Tim Waltz, before. So what they have done is uh, they have reprinted a, a long article uh, several years ago about that planet-eating pipeline, the Line 3 pipeline, which uh, there, there, there's pretty much one person who could have stopped this completely indefensible, probably illegal, uh, just, just giveaway to uh, these planet eaters at Enbridge. And that was none other than Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, absolutely in the pocket uh, of Enbridge Energy years ago. He's every bit as much of a corporate whore as any of them. So I'm not going to read the old article. We all know that it was a lost battle that Tim Walls uh, was the last stand uh, that these uh, protesters had. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to read the long article from August of 2021. But I am going to read the short preface for any of you self-proclaimed progressives out there thinking that Tim Walls uh, is going to save this planet. <clears throat> Take it away, Mandy and Eric. <clears throat> when we wrote this article in August 2021, Many of us in the movement to stop lying free were hub hopeful. We were hub hopeful that we might make the governor of Minnesota listen to our demands to respect treaty rights and recognize that building line three would mean game over for the climate. Three years later, that governor who we tried to persuade to take action to protect Minnesota's waterways, the same governor, Tim Walls, who organized police stations across the state to work with Enbridge in a coordinated network to stop protesters, 
has now been chosen as the vice presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. Tim Walz is being hailed across the country as a progressive, but many communities who lived under his reign as governor experienced a different reality. This article highlights some of those struggles for climate justice in the face of a brutal crackdown coordinated by the state of Minnesota headed by Governor Tim Walz. There you go. Listen to uh, the non-limp dick lefties, the old school lefties, the pre-progressive lefties, I guess. Uh, but, you know, as I say, I, I am, uh, I, I, I am just embarrassed to still call myself a lefty. And, and I, I really am uh, still a lefty. As I've said many times, I am so far to the left uh, that, that I spend more time uh, bumping up against hardline right-wingers than I do the soft left, which uh, I, I tend to generally lump into the, the term progressive and certainly the term woke. Oh, God, don't get me going. That's, uh, those rants are for another channel. But, but anyway, guys, uh, again, so I'm sure anyone listening to this is saying, yeah, so it sounds like Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles is cheering on Donald Trump and, and, and J.D. Vance. Good God. Uh, anybody thinking uh, that Sam Mitchell uh, is a fan of Donald Trump or J.D. Vance uh, is every bit as much of a clueless moron as thinking that Sam Mitchell of Collapse Chronicles is a fan of uh, Kamala Harris or, or this latest planet eater uh, Tim Walls than I ever was a fan of, uh, uh, of Joe Biden. <clears throat> who uh, still uh, can, can take the honor of, uh, of yanking more fossil fuels out of the ground during his administration than any president in the history of the United States. That is Joe Biden's environmental legacy. Okay, make no mistake about Joe Biden's ed environmental legacy. Uh, he can ride off into the sunset uh, proudly being able to claim correctly that under his leadership with uh, th this little planet-eating sidekick, Kamala Harris, flip-flopping on fracking right beside him, uh, drilled more fossil fuels out of the ground uh, in the year 2023 uh, than in any year in history. And there is absolutely no reason, no reason to uh, believe on any level that uh, a, a vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls uh, is, is a vote uh, for saving this planet or uh, going up against the global corporatocracy. Uh, it, 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 I, 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 unbelievable that there's any lefties uh, on, on this planet acting like Kamala Harris or Tim Walls are, are, are going to stand up uh, to the to the global corporatocracy uh, taking down this planet. Now, I'm not going to get into all of this other stuff because I don't give a flying fuck about all this other stuff. Uh, I am a one-issue non-voter, and that is I am an environmental non-voter. All of this other stuff, uh, good lord, it's, it's a bunch 
of, uh, of gobbledygook distraction uh, distracting us uh, f from the annihilation of all life on planet Earth. That is what I am interested in. All of this other stuff, uh, to just talk till you're blue in the face. <clears throat> anyway, so I will uh, continue to be an environmental non-voter. I, I was actually thinking of uh, <clears throat> voting for uh, for RFK uh, just as a protest vote to vote against Donald Trump and well, it was Joe Biden, but uh, Kamala Harris. But 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 if anybody listening to this is is still voting for RFK. Uh, after that, uh, after seeing that photograph of that uh, bloody roadkill bear cub, uh, you know, now RFK is a sick, twisted fuck. Uh, I have lost every shred of respect I had uh, for RFK. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I would just as soon. Uh, have Donald Trump and Kamala Harris in the damn White House is that sadistic uh, monster RFK. Jesus Christ. Uh, goodbye and good riddance to him, but it sounds like he's actually going to end up pulling more votes away from Donald Trump than he is Kamala Harris, so I guess uh, uh, I guess RFK is good for something. That you know, the main reason uh, I want Kamala to win, I guess, is is I don't ever want to hear Donald Trump's voice again. I don't want to see his fat, ugly face. Uh, I I don't want to listen to that mobster voice. Uh, I, I would I, I'll take Kamala's cackle. Uh, over that mobster voice in any day of the year. So uh, here I have, I've wasted another 17 minutes of my breath uh, chronicling the collapse of a planet because it makes no fucking difference uh, which one of the, these planet eaters wins. Uh, we're fucked. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up and get out there and enjoy this spectacularly gorgeous weekend here in the collapse of everything while I still can. Bye, guys.